Jones and it is Canadian Film Week. A April 20th is Canada Film Day and at the Band City Theatre they are featuring a lot of Canadian films including your feature, Melanie Jones. You've got a uh, uh, FSM, which is not Flying Spaghetti Monster. Nope. Female Seeking uh, Male. Yes. And you have a wonderful, beautiful uh, co-star, Vanessa Crouch. Uh, what's this film about? What's going on? It's not about Flying Spaghetti Monster. It's not. Um, there's another, there's an alternative way to read the FSM letters, okay. which tells you a bit more about the film, which is friendship, sex, and music. Nice. And those are some of the main themes of the film. Right. Um, we just explore kind of hookup culture and online dating and difficulty of human connection. In Vancouver specifically, we show off the city and then... Uh, yeah, it's actually set in Vancouver. It is, it is. We, you know, we love Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Nice. And it's a story about you. Yeah. Well, not really you. No. You're an actress. Yeah, I embody <laughs> stories. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, well, it's actually a profound story. She wrote it, so um, I think there's a lot of um, personal little bits and pieces in there. Mm -hmm. Now, you play a DJ mm -hmm. in this. Uh, yeah. Uh, so you're uh, stepping into, uh, uh, there's not a lot of women DJs. I think there's actually a lot of okay. women DJs. Okay. But just like there's a lot of women filmmakers. Right. But opportunity and exposure is, I think, a bit more difficult sometimes. So, you know, we wanted to show a, a woman DJ who is also, like, not struggling to be a woman DJ, but just, just is one. Because that's very actually reflective of the underground music culture here in Vancouver. It's okay. very inclusive and very uh, open. Now, are you a DJ as well? I'm not. You're just, you're, <laughs> you're just like the culture and you went, I want my female lead to be. Uh, yeah. I wanted her to be creative, so nice. I wanted to give her something artistic and, and interesting. You're like painter, sculptor, <laughs> <Yeah>. teacher. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Nice. Now, how did you find Vanessa? Uh, that was a very interesting process. Yeah. The casting on this film was really quite difficult. Um, we had a lot of characters, 40 plus characters with speaking mm -hmm. roles, which never do that on an indie film. It's a terrible idea. Um, <laughs> But when you're making a film about relationships, you need a lot of different people to have oh, conversations with. Because you have to things. go through a, a dating gamut. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, but we found, Vanessa, at the 11th hour, um, just a few days before we started shooting, in fact, she was How cast. How nerve-wracking. It was. And, and I think, um, you know, it's pretty amazing, A, that, you know, just fate intervened and brought her to us, but also that, you know, without really any time to prepare, <laughs> you know, you, like, she just dived in. Like, in the of chair, like, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, now what was the, the hardest part, uh, being a DJ, or you also had to have a lot of very intimate scenes. Yeah, very... um, the DJ stuff was fine, I mean, oh, we didn't get a, I didn't get a chance to sort of, you know, learn how to be a DJ. <laughs> you didn't really miss. Not really, <laughs> yeah. well, yeah. But they were, they were your hands. They were my hands, right. yes. <laughs> it's um, just there was no volume. But yeah, the, the hardest part was, yeah, like not having enough time for, for prep. Um, yeah. And also, yeah, there's some intimate scenes, both uh, physically, like lots of sex scenes, even though Sam doesn't really actually get to have sex. Right. Uh, but she does with her cell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but even like there's, there's uh, um, a few quite emotional scenes in there as well. So, like, yeah. you know, when you've got like a bunch of people on sets, you know, it can be quite challenging to get into certain. Yeah, you have to go to quite raw areas uh, emotionally yeah. as a distraught person, so that was uh, uh, hopeful get yes. distraught. Why did you want to write this film? I, you know, I've, I've made a lot of films, made a lot of shorts, and you know, your first feature, it's really important to make your first feature, like for right. any filmmaker. And, you know, in Canada, like, the indie film community is really supportive. It's, it's really possible to make uh, an, an independent film uh, with a lot of support, with a lot of um, community behind you. And, and certainly, like, Vancouver, you know, rallied behind us. We had lots of sponsors and things like that. Yeah. And we made the film for just $10,000 because we're wow. in a, a, a challenge called the Indie Hand 10K Challenge. So, you know, we couldn't have done it without sponsors, essentially, with that few dollars behind right. it. Um, but I, I had to write something that could be made in that context, right? That could be made for low budget, like, you know, short shooting window, um, yeah, minimal. Yeah, you did it in like 12 days. Yeah, we only shot 12 days, so the days were very intense. Um, but I, I've written other things that are much bigger, you know, sci-fi projects and things wow. like that. Wow. a huge nerd. But 
<laughs> but I can't make them for for ten thousand dollars. There's no way, you know. So you have to kind of work your way up. You should, to you that. should use her in your side. She's really good. I know, I know. Well, I, I feel like I can't believe she hasn't been cast in like Star Trek or something before now. You yeah. Know? <laughs> well, well, like I mean, you you're on the cover of a newspaper now. Yes. Like that, they could just walk into people's office and go, all right? Yeah, excuse me, this is me. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Like you're quite the demo reel now. <laughs> exactly. All right. Uh, why yeah. should people see this film? Why why should they go? Who or who is the audience for this film? And, and don't say everyone. People always say no. Everyone. I don't. I, I don't think. I mean, there's things in there for a lot of different kinds of people. So yeah. there is. I think it's a big range of people who could find something exciting in the film. Musicians who want to see um, local music mm -hmm. featured the in the film. Is the, the soundtrack is of 18 songs. 16 songs are Canadian yeah. songs, uh, which was really really important to me. They were my um, favorite. Yeah, it, like it was, it was a dream actually yeah. to make a great soundtrack. Um, but I mean, also if you live in Vancouver, just to come and see your city as itself and mm -hmm. and and given a lot of love, as opposed to being like we're gonna pretend that this is Seattle or somewhere yeah. else, you know, whatever. Or the uh, Bronx. <laughs> yes, and I also think that like seeing um, a complex female story. That is not uh, like one, two, three, and it's an easy solution at right. the end of the film. I think that's really important. I mean, that's certainly my goal in creating interesting female protagonists is yeah. to show like what my experience really is, which is not the typical rom com, you yeah, know, fun. happy ending, and it's all very easy at the end. It's, you know? a, it's a fun film, and there's laughs in it, but it's definitely not a rom com. Yeah, it, it's, it's, yeah. A, it's a very dramatic uh, uh, piece without being. Heavy. Yes. Right. <laughs> what would you say is uh, a part in the film that you just go, that's nice? <laughs> <laughs> like, like I love that during, idea, but during filming? During filming, maybe it was a, a sequence that you had to do that when you watch the film, you go, hmm. Ah, mm. uh, that's a tricky one. It's a, I know, the whole project was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole thing. Yeah. Um, well, it's funny um, because, as I said, we talked about the, there's a you know, self love. Yeah. scene in there. Um, so that must have been challenging. Well, yeah, it was really challenging. And I don't, I don't think at the time when we were filming it that I didn't necessarily walked away from it going, kind of like, yeah, that felt great. <laughs> but, <laughs> Literally and figuratively. <laughs> but uh, Mel did such a great job with the film and, and the way it's presented in the story. Uh, it just, it looks beautiful and it's a really lovely, mm -hmm. it's a, kind of a scene that we don't get to see often in films is, you know, um, been masturbating, I guess, um, and it's but it, it's done really beautifully, and um, I think it's a great way to see um, sort of experience female vulnerability and sexuality. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, I, that's uh, so. Yeah, perfect. I think that's the when I watch it, like that's one of the scenes that I love. Yeah, yeah, it's a fantastic. Really enough. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, and, and that 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 totally resonates with me. Mm -hmm. It is it is an image that we don't see on film that often. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that would be one that was a challenging one to film mm -hmm. with the entire crew. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and how about you? What's a because uh, sometimes when you're making a film, yeah. there's compromise, right? You're Definitely. You're rather shooting sometimes. And you're like, oh, I have to do this, or I have to change this, or, or right? What's one where you just go, okay? Yeah. Ironically, it's the same scene. Whoa! But it's, <laughs> it's, I think it's because for me. Because from writing it, yeah. I had, I mean, I even wrote in the script what the song was going to be in that scene. Like, it was just so clear in my mind how it should look. And to have, to, to shoot it and to get the song, like the artist actually gave me the song, which was amazing. And then to cut it together and to have it come together almost exactly as it was in my mind. I mean, that, I think for any director, that's always your challenge is like, how do you translate this thing in your head to something that other people can see? And sometimes you really succeed and sometimes you only get close, but you don't right. quite you know, manage. And that scene for me is like, that is the pinnacle for me of my directing. Like I'm like, everything I wanted out of that scene is there and somehow it's even more than I, could have imagined, and I'm just so proud of it because of that, and because it has this deeper kind of um, context of like this isn't something that gets seen a lot, you know, mm -hmm. that um, that I'm presenting something new, and it feels like I am, so that's, right. that's very exciting. Yeah, I know. It, 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 it's uh, there's so much of the film that's unique, and that is certainly an aspect of it that changes it from 
uh, good film to a, a remarkable film. So oh, congratulations you. to both of you. Thank you. And I wish you continued success. Thank this you. Onward and upward. Eh? Yes, yes, I hope so. <laughs> congratulations. Thanks. How was the rest of your night? You know, with duck fish. I just didn't want to waste his time. We just gotta forget these clouds and focus on ourselves. Thank you.